Hello, I'm Jeffrey Kirk. I recently received a message asking me if there is any way to find out what phrases people are searching for when Google Analytics shows their keywords listed as not provided. The message also asked me if they were doing something wrong that resulted in this particular condition. First, I want to be clear that they are not doing anything wrong, and neither are you. Several years ago, Google started an effort to make internet traffic and data more secure. Some of the data is falling into the category of user privacy, so they don't make it available. In essence, not provided is what shows up as the search keyword phrases for anyone who is logged into a Google account at the time they do the search. That means if you have a Google Analytics account, or you use Gmail, or you have a YouTube account, or Google Plus, or any number of other Google tools, you could be logged into your Google account anytime and potentially every time you do a search. And this is true for you and everyone else. Since none of Google's tools automatically log a user off when they leave the website, most users are always logged in to their Google account. So when you do a search, Google protects that search data and the keywords do not go into Google Analytics. Unfortunately, this can leave a big gap in the organic search data. So, what can you do about this? The first thing to consider is that statistically, the phrases searched by people who are logged into their Google account and those who are not are likely the same phrases. Odds are that most of the not provided keywords are distributed similarly to the ones that are provided, boosting the numbers of those phrases you already know about. It's the lesser used phrases that become the concern because if there is only one user in the world who finds your site with a particular phrase and they are logged into their Google account, you would never know what that phrase is. But, on the other hand, how much does this one usage matter? Okay, let's say that not provided accounts for the majority of keywords used, or you cannot accept the statistical distribution of keywords, and you still want more information. Can you get it? Probably. At least, you can get a little bit more than what you're initially given. But there is a requirement. You have to connect your Google Analytics reporting with your Google Webmaster Tools account. If you have done that, then you get access to query data. Let me go to my computer and I will show you this data. First, let's take a look at the list of keywords for a site. Here you can see that there are 978 shown as not provided. We actually don't have to worry about this one called not set because on this page it refers to people who came to the site without keywords. In other words, they most likely clicked a link somewhere to get here so that they didn't do it through search. Below not set, you can see the list of real keywords that were used to bring people to this site. And if I do a little math, I can see that there are only 157 sessions with real keywords. That's the 1998 minus 978 minus 863. So 157 sessions out of the 1998 total sessions. That's not a real good percentage of data that I actually get to know about. But if instead of looking at the keywords, I come down to queries page, which is in search engine optimization and queries. Then I can see the data is quite different. Here I can see that there were 868 clicks that came to the site, 462 of them, the query is not set, which leaves 406 clicks worth of data, which is considerably more than the 157 I was looking at on the previous page. But instead of focusing on keywords that were used to enter this site, we see a list of queries that resulted in this site showing up in the search results. So for example, the phrase expired chocolate showed up in the search results 897 times, and this site got zero clicks. That's great information because on the other report, I would have never seen that phrase expired chocolate. Yet here I know of all the keywords shown, that was the one that was searched the most. So if I were trying to do some search engine optimization or boost this site in the search results, I might really want to target this phrase. 
especially since the average position the site's showing up in is four. So it's showing up really good on the first page of the Google search results, yet it's not getting any clicks. So why is that? This particular report gives me great information to analyze what I can do to improve the results to the site. That's information I don't even get when I just look at the keywords that resulted in someone coming to the site. So if we break this down, the query is the phrase that was used in the search. The impressions is the number of times that a page from this website was seen in the search results. The clicks was the number of times that phrase was clicked to make it into the website. The average position is where in the search results it appears. And the CTR, the click-through rate, is the percentage of clicks over the number of impressions. And this average position is quite useful because search is personalized. Two people can be searching for the same phrase and your site can show up in different positions. So this column gives an average of what position it's showing up in. So for example, if three searchers search for an important keyword phrase related to your business and one searcher sees a URL to your site in the number two position, another sees it in the number three position, and another sees it in the number seven position, the average would be 4.0. That's two plus three plus seven divided by three. So instead of just seeing what keywords are used for people to find your site, this chart shows you where your site appears on the search results and what percent of searchers actually get to your site. So rather than basing your search engine optimization on what is already working, you can use this chart to help you determine where to focus. If you work to improve your average position and get a higher percentage of clicks to your site, then you will really be making good progress. If you like this post, please like or share it. And if you subscribe, you'll be notified when new posts are published. Have a great day.